All right, so Switcher Studio. If I have a graphic over here and I want to add the person speaking, I can go to picture in picture and then I add said speak person talking. That's me. Hello. And let me move this over here. So now you can see me. Hi, and I know you can build this in a preset, but so now I do preview live. I could even come up here and do a cross dissolve and cross this off between a still or any graphic, or it could be video or still, and I can do that. So now I have my still over here and I have my picture in picture over here. Now I want to change this. And so I need, to, I need another graphic. So let me go get something. No, I can't go get something. Oh, yes, I can. Photos, uh, let me go get another picture. So, use this image, zoom it out, done. So now I've got something else. So here I've got one, two, three different sources. Now, I just want to change this shot. So I go like this, and it does a picture in picture. I don't want to do a picture in picture. So, I guess I have to undo, do, and then I can do a swap back and forth. But the trick is you have to leave picture in picture activated and do a little bit of jugging. Unselect, select, and then you can do picture in picture and not picture in picture. The problem I was having was I didn't know about the undo. And when you come over here and say, no, I don't want picture in picture. I just want to change this. You turn picture in picture off. And let's go back to none. And now I can change this really easy. And then when I change it, picture in picture goes away because it's not activated. And then I'm like, well, I got to rebuild it again. Picture picture on, uh, put the picture picture of the person in there, and I do a dissolve. And then I want to change inputs. Well, then I got to turn it off. And then come over here, change my input, and go back to dissolve. And that way, it's a little bit tricky to know that you've got to if you're in picture in picture and you've got something going on like me and you do a transition and you want to change this you have to stay in picture in picture and change only the background so you have to unchange the background change the background to something else and then you can continue to keep your picture in picture active while going to a third source and changing third fourth fifth sixth sources and a picture in picture. So if you get somebody constantly talking about your uh, PowerPoints, but then you want to go to an audience shot, PowerPoints, go to a different audience shot, PowerPoints, go to a shot of the stage, PowerPoints, and, and you want to keep this active, you have to remember that there it is talking about my wonderful PowerPoints, turn this off, turn it onto something else, and then I can go to something else. So doable, you just got to remember to stay in picture in picture and unselect a source before you select the next source because if you just say oh no I just want to change to this you're going to add it as another picture-in-picture -picture source because you're still in picture-in-picture